Hello, welcome back to another video presented by Acuity PPM, where today we're going to provide a tutorial of how to use risk value bubble charts to gain new insights into your portfolio. But before we get started, be sure to click the subscribe button because we're putting out great content that you do not want to miss. So with that, let's jump in. And the first question we want to answer is, what is a risk value bubble chart? Well, it's a visual representation of the entire portfolio. And as the name implies, each bubble on the chart represents an individual project. The placement of the bubble uh, is mapped accordingly based upon the relative value and risk of the project. The x-axis shown here represents the value score. The y-axis is the risk score. And these are derived from your prioritization scoring model. So if you are interested in learning more about prioritization, take a look at our PPM 101 video on prioritization. And then once you've applied that scoring model and you've got the scores for all your projects, you can create a bubble chart of your portfolio. The color coding is based upon the different indicators that are used in the example shown here. We've got the sponsoring department, the bubble size is often based on the cost or it could be based on the financial value. And then we've got four quadrants. We've got a, a quadrant uh, in the upper left where we've got lower value but higher risk projects. Then lower left, we've got the lower value, lower risk. Upper right, we've got the higher value, higher risk. And the lower right, we've got higher value and lower risk. And we've shown this slide before, as far as the answers that we get from portfolio management, we're going to emphasize two of them today. Do we have the right projects and where are we investing money in people? Our bubble chart can help us answer those two key questions, which is why it's a valuable uh, chart to review. And then we should ask, how can we use a risk value bubble chart? So I'm going to use this uh, example shown here. And as mentioned, that upper left quadrant would represent your low value, high risk projects. In general, you want to do as few of those as possible. You don't want to invest in projects that are of low value, yet are risky to complete. It's a drain on the organization. There may be cases, they might be mandatory, they could be safety related, uh, compliance related, but in general, do as few of those as possible. In the lower left, we have the low value and low risk. These tend to be our operationally based projects that run the business or keep the lights on. And we wanna do those as needed, but we wanna be careful not to overload our portfolio with low value, low risk projects. On the right hand side, we've got high value and high risk shown here in the upper right quadrant. These are valuable projects, yet they come with a higher level of risk. Therefore, we want to do some of these. We probably cannot take all of them on. Every organization is going to have its own uh, risk tolerance. Therefore, some deliberation is needed to determine how many of these risky projects can we take on. Just because it's risky doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. It does mean that we need to be careful with how much risk we take on. And so when we are evaluating relative project risk and utilizing the bubble chart, it actually enables us to take on more risk in the portfolio and therefore generate uh, more value. The lower right quadrant is our high value, low risk. That's our best quadrant. And in general, we wanna do as many of these projects as possible. It's gonna generate more value uh, for our organization. And with having lower risk, it should be easier to execute or complete. So let's jump over to uh, Acuity PPM where we can see this in action. And so we've got uh, a representation of a bubble chart. We're looking at a measurement or indicator, sorry, the indicator of department where we've got multiple departments and we can see a breakdown of our total projects and the budget uh, of that portfolio and the percentage spent uh, across those departments. Down below, we can hover over the bubbles, we can get additional information about the projects. And once we start filtering and drilling down, then we start getting uh, the new insights. 
So in this case, I can filter on to the IT department and I can see that there's some good distribution, not much in that low value, high risk quadrant. And we could do this department by department. Actually, it'd be a great exercise for senior leaders to evaluate the risk and value of the projects across their departments to spot any projects that might need to be scrutinized and possibly put on hold or canceled. I can switch over to the uh, strategic objective. I'm gonna cancel this. And we're gonna switch our gears and look at it based on our four strategic goals. Every organization should have key objectives or goals uh, to complete. And when looking at this, especially if I focus in on goal number two, I can see that we are spending a lot of our budget on projects that are lower value and higher risk. We may not have uncovered this as easily if we didn't have the visualization to go along with it. So when the leadership team meets, this is a great uh, view to display on a periodic basis to help uh, balance the portfolio, help discuss are we investing in the right areas or do we have the right projects? And then as a result, we might see that we've got some projects that uh, while there is some value, very high risk, can we use that for those funds to invest in other work that would propel our organization further, faster? Uh, and if the answer is yes, and then we've saved money, uh, we can reinvest and deliver more value. So these are just a couple of examples based on strategic uh, priorities or goals, along with uh, organizations uh, sponsoring of projects to see how we can use a risk value bubble chart to gain new insights into the portfolio and make better decisions. So if you're interested in learning more about Acuity PPM, contact us to schedule a demo today. Thank you.